Love you too. I love you more I than love anything. I love you. I'm so proud of you. My angel. I'm excited about the book launch, but I'm still sad from the experiences and people died in these accidents, and that stays with me every day. I'm extremely proud of Ken. He's put a lot of hard work uh, in this book and a lot of hard experiences in this book. Uh, I can relate to some of the things that he talks about in the book. He was in crisis intervention for a number of years in law enforcement. I, I work for American Airlines. That's why, because of him, I'm joining the care team to understand how he can help. I work for Black Memorial, so we do a lot of disasters with the West Texas explosion and things like that. And um, it's very, very important, and people don't think about it till after the fact. So it's very, it's very nice to have somebody that can take care of you that's been through this that knows how to handle it. He's the best person you could ask for. I think for corporations, large and small, the biggest takeaway is to be transparent. People can handle the truth. You just need to share the truth with them. I think our fear sometimes says, you know, we don't want to tell people bad news because they can't handle it. And the truth is they can handle it. What they can't handle is being lied to. So full transparency is a must. My personal belief is the human touch is the business. You know, there's a lot in the news about business continuity today and, and having business continuity plans and emergency response plans, and those are all good. You need to have them. But they're plans, and they don't deal with the aspect of the human being. The work that we do is very unusual. There aren't a lot of people that have had the opportunities, and it's, it's for that reason I wrote the book, is for people to be able to read and see what I experienced, what other team members experienced. And so if they're ever called to duty, then they'll have a point of reference.